unlike a lot of the terminology in our business, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's when an Instacart shopper goes in the store and they register that the customer wanted to order the item, but I wasn't able to find it on shelf. Essentially, that is the data signal that is sent up. Before I go a layer deeper there, I'll just, for anyone on the call not super familiar with Instacart, I'll give them the brief 101. So Instacart's an intermediary, meaning they have no owned inventory. They pick it all from retailer partner shelves. At the moment, they're pretty scaled in that sense. They partner with over 700 retailers. That's 65,000 plus store locations. And I think the really interesting insight about that is each of those locations have their own unique storefront on the Instacart platform. And so anyone who deals with category management can probably appreciate the complexity of having really 65,000 unique catalogs that need to be updated with supply chain availability on any given day. I think the fact that Instacart shares with us is it's half a billion lines of product data that they digest and then redistribute out in their system on a daily basis. So while that offers a lot of, a lot of challenges um, for CPGs as it relates to supply chain, it also comes with a lot of opportunity. So if you imagine, these are millions of transactions happening every week and a, a, a lot of demand signals happening within that. And it's aggregating those demand signals across this 700 plus retailer network. Right. So if you kind of unpack what that process looks like, I'm sure most people listening have used Instacart or a similar service, mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll just walk you through kind of how this not found signal ultimately gets triggered. You add an item to your cart, the shopper then goes into the store trying to pick that item. They find that it is not available. And then they either suggest a replacement that you accept or the other alternative is you reject the replacement or they don't find a good replacement and it is a lost sale for both the brand and the retailer. 